a marshmallow. That's the only way I can describe this. It's like one big fat marshmallow. Like, have you seen those giant marshmallows in B&M bargains? Or My channel welcome if you're new hello hi i'm katie and welcome back if you're a channel subscriber you are the best if you are new here and you enjoyed today's video please consider hitting that subscribe button subscribe for some good vibes join our good vibe tribe and yeah we've just hit 5,000 subscribers as well so thank you all actually for being here more than ever if i talk a bit funny today it's because i've got an ulcer right on my lip and it's making me talk funny and mouse moving all, all over the place because i keep biting it Anyway, um, so today I'm bringing you something a little bit different, something that I wouldn't normally, somewhere I wouldn't normally shop and I have never shopped before. So it's going to be my first time shopping in Miss Pap. So I'm going to give you guys, as always, my honest review, my honest feedback of the clothes. Um, and just for reference, I'm a size UK 12 and I am 5 foot 10 because you guys always seem to ask me. If you missed out on Sunday night's haul, it was a date night outfit inspo video, so really cute outfits for date night. And also last week we had a H&M and a Zara haul, so if you've missed them, I'll leave them link down below and you can watch them after this video. Um, so let's just get straight into it. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description box. If there's anything you can't find, give me a shout. So I'm gonna be honest, I've got mixed reviews on this. There's a few little gems in here and then a few pieces that I would not dress my worst enemy in. So it's a bit of a mixed one. Okay, so all the pieces in this haul, I think are under 20 pounds. They're very reasonable, but that does not mean the quality is gonna be great. And I am, like I said, very honest. I don't want you guys buying clothes that you're gonna end up sending back or being not happy with. So I will give you my honest feedback. If you're happy to buy things that you'll only maybe have for a summer, wear on holiday, that kind of thing, which I wouldn't personally recommend, I like sustainable pieces that you can keep in your wardrobe for a long time, um, then that is up to you. You do what you, makes you happy. So, my first piece is actually a very nice quality piece. This is £15.20, which I think is actually really affordable. It's a gorgeous little cute yellow gingham mini dress. I love the square neckline. I love the strappy straps. <laughs> Um, don't worry about that so funny, strappy straps. The straps have adjustable bits, which is lovely. And then my favorite little bit is the back. So it's got these little bits you tie into a bow yourself. And obviously that's great because it's different. Um, it can be adjustable then depending on your bust. So that's really, really good to know. Um, for me, this was a size 12. I think I've got everything in a size 12 apart from one pair of trousers, um, which were too big. And this is one thing I don't like about brands when they you buy a size 12 and some of it fits you like a glove, some of it's too big and some of it's too small. If it's all coming from the same brand, it should be the same size, in my opinion. I mean, otherwise, why would they put size 12 on for us to be able to know how to buy it? Anywho, this size 12 was great, apart from, it was nice, you know, like if it's a bit, you want it to be a little bit loose because if you were hot, and obviously it's a summery dress, this bit, however, was a little bit gaping, a little bit big on the back on me, and I have got quite... A large bottom so it's not for you know lack of bum that it was large I'm not sure my waist is slightly smaller so maybe it was just that I don't know but I really like this and I think it's a really cute little first piece if you like that little first piece then give this a little thumbs up no okay so this next dress I'm gonna share with you is exactly what I'm wearing right now but in blue let me know down below in the comment section which color you prefer um, like I said, I'm more of a classic girl, so white is more me. This is only £16, which I think is a bit of a bargain because this is nice quality. This is double lined, it's thick, it's very like feminine and elegant, yet yeah, it's got like a little bit of sexy, which is a completely my thing. Um, I absolutely love it. It's got this ruching detail, which is nice and flattering to cover any, you know, areas where we all carry weight you're not alone we all have it it's there on all of us okay women are actually prone to carry more weight on their tummies than men so just give yourself a bit of a break and if you're not already following me over on instagram come over there and say hello i'm at with love katie and two underscores and i share lots of body positivity as well as fashion over there self-love all the good vibes come over there join the good vibe tribe over there yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is a really, really gorgeous piece, and I do really like this because we pay for like a little night out, 
Um, nice little pair of heels, sandals, something like that, strappy belly bears, maybe some clear sandals, depending on what, you know, your vibe is. In the cutaway, I think I've paired it with either some white or nude heels, and I've, those heels that I'm going to share with you, they're all from Miss Pap, and you can wear them literally with nearly every outfit in this haul, so they're an absolute bug. I like, I really like the shoes from Miss Pap, they were my faves, if I'm honest. Next, I have this cute little polka dot dress to share with you. So the idea of this is adorable. I do really like it. Oh, it's a 14, and that makes sense. It was just too big on the bust area. You'll see me like pointing it out in the cutaway. It was just a little bit big on the bust area, which is a shame, um, because it was a really cute dress. I'm guessing I just must have, because I'd never ordered from there. Sometimes I like to go up size, because you just never know how things are going to fit, do you? Um, and then it's got these little cute bow ties on the shoulders, comes in at the end of the arms, which I like. I like the little frill at the bottom. However, this is white, and it isn't double lined. And as you can see, probably in the cutaway and here, it's not very, um, it's very see-through. It's quite transparent. It's got a ruchy bit at the back, which is great, and a zip to get you in and out of it. So obviously, if you've got a bigger bust, this is going to be a much better for you. Um, because of these cups, it just wasn't doing anything for me. But that's obviously now I'm understanding that's because it was a size 14. But this is going to be a really versatile dress. You could easily pop on a little pair of black heels with a little clutch black bag night out. Perfect. Date night, something like that. Or you could pop on just some sandals and wear it in the day, like with a nice beach hat. And this one is £18. So again, I think all the, like I said, all the dresses in this haul are under £20. So they're extremely, extremely reasonable. So this next little number, I have no idea what it would look like on because I could not get it over my butt. And this is a size 12, so who knows why I can't get over my butt. Even it has a zip all the way down, but it just had no stretch. It looks like it would be stretchy material, but it's not. I actually think it would look really nice on, but definitely size up on this one. I like the style of this dress, and I like the colour, I like the sleeves. This is, again, only single line, so it's not um, the best quality. And the material, I have to be honest, isn't so special. It's got a little slit at the back on the bottom, so it's going to make it easy, because obviously it's a little bit longer. It's just over the knee. Yes, I do like this one, but honestly, like I said, I don't know how it fits, because... I couldn't get it over my Beyonce. Okay, and that dress was £16, so very affordable for like a nice girly night out. I even think you could go as far as wearing something like this to a wedding maybe because it's quite a classy, like, muted mauve colour. Like, I actually, because of the colour, you could probably wear it to like a, yeah, I could think I would wear it to a wedding with some nice classy nude heels, nice little bag, some nice little earrings, something like some little pearls or something just super like simple for, for 18 pound i think this is the thing with these websites you get a lot of little gems in there so you have to sort of sometimes just take your take yourself over there um order a few things and then just send back the things that are fails and then if there's any little gems you you've got yourself a real bargain a little gem so that's i found that with a few places it it does remind me of like boohoo and in the style and those kind of places um, so these were a massive fail because these are a size 14 and they were gigantic. They say they're the colour stone, but I'm not being funny. This is literally either lemon or cream. There's nothing stone about these. There's, and this is where you see the quality and price difference. Because of the cheapness, I feel like the colour and the material really does not live up to my standards. <laughs> Let's just say that. £16, which is very affordable. Um, however, like I said, they were a little bit too big, so maybe keep true to size on these. If these were a different colour, they actually would be quite a decent pair of trousers for £16. Um, they're just like tailored trousers that are going to look really cute with a little blouse, maybe like a, a plain body and a blazer on a night out. Very, very easy and versatile to wear, but like I said, the colour for me was just not doing it. So, yeah, we won't, we won't keep talking about that. Uh, next, I have this really cute little crop. And when I say crop, it literally is a crop. It's tiny. Um, it's only £7.20, so it's extremely affordable. Um, and it gets even smaller at the back, which I think you may have an issue depending on your bra size, um, you getting your bra under there. But if you're happy to go braless, which I normally do, um, then this will be fine for you. The straps, again, are adjustable. And I think this will be really cute with a pair of like nice high-waisted trousers and some heels for like a girly night or a date night or something like that. Maybe a game with a blazer over will make it look less, you know, small, but very still classy. Keeping like with neutral colours um, would look really, really nice. 
it fit fine it's it is what you see really it's just a cute little crop and it's under 10 pounds so super affordable i think i'm gonna say that a hundred times in this video because everything is so reasonable um so next i've got these they're called linen style trousers but i have to say again i hate the material they feel vile like the, the material is disgusting it feels like sandpaper so and again Oh, these are called cream, but they're exactly the same colour as stone. So the colour is cream slash lemon slash cream, custard cream colour. Um, the fit on these was lovely and the length of them was great. So if you're tall, this is going to be good news for you. Like I said, I'm five foot nine. And I normally ha have like trousers that are normally a little bit too short for me, but these were fine. So, and they were actually long and I had them on with heels. Um, so that was great and that's something I can't normally say. I normally have to shop in like Mango or you know places like Zara for longer trousers. So these were very nice in length but again the material just completely put me off but they are super reasonable for £14 so it just depends if you're a material snob or you just you know want some nice trousers for £14. Okay so I don't actually know where to start with this one. It kind of reminds me of like a marshmallow. That's the only way I can describe this. It's like one big fat marshmallow. Like, have you seen those giant marshmallows in B&M bargains or home bargains? If you have, leave me a comment now and let me know that you've seen them and you don't think I'm crazy. It's only UK people because you probably don't have home bargains or B&M bargains if you're not from the UK. But you need to go to these giant marshmallows to see the resemblance to this. It's just one big giant marshmallow. Well, actually, so if you've not seen, I did an In The Style haul with the new Lorna Luxe collection and this honestly is a complete copy, I'm not sure which one copied which one, but it's a complete copy minus the other one had three buttons here. Other than that, they're exactly the same dress, they have exactly the same material inside to make it this poofy, they literally couldn't be any different. This one is slightly longer, which was handy again being a tall girl, but I didn't know which one was sort of like copied the other so I don't really want to say you know what happened there but one of them has copied the other <laughs> so the in the other in the in the style haul i tried this on in like a neutrally peachy color um so it's a bit different but it's the exact same dress and i know they sell it in white because i see my friend um wearing it in white so this is size 12 and this is one of those dresses that you can you can make look good or will make you look like a marshmallow so it's kind of maybe you just have to try it and see um but yeah, you'll see me in the cutaway just sort of showing you guys how to look. You know, I can pose in it and make it look decent, but I don't, that this is a whole new world of me posing in it and actually wearing it out in public, which probably would never happen. No, they would never happen. I would never wear that in public, full stop. I really don't care what people think, but I have better style than that. And this is the only thing that costs £20. Um, I just want to show you how good it looks on the model because I just think it's interesting. Um, so it looks really cool on the model. And if maybe, I think maybe because I've got a bit of curves, maybe it just didn't help at all. Um, but I think maybe plus size or more towards like size six and eight UK would look better in this than us mid-size girls. Which I am also, if you're not following me on my YouTube, uh, Instagram, doing a, a mid-size movement over there. So if you are mid-size and you watch my channel, come and give the mid-size movement some love. Something is tickling my chin. Um, yeah, come and give it some love because I feel like us mid-size girls don't get represented often enough. So I'm going to start a big mid-size movement. And if that excites you too, put mid-size movement in the comments. You know, support your gals. We got we gotta look after each other, we have. Honestly. I'll be there for you, you be there for me. Okay, so this next dress, a little lilac puff sleeve dress. I actually really like this. It looked much better on than it looked on the hanger, and the material again isn't great, but it's wearable. Like I would wear this. Um it's thin, it's single lined again, not double lined or anything like that, but because of the colour, it's completely fine, it's not see-through. Um, I just really like the style of this. I like the puffy sleeves. You guys know I love a puffy sleeve by now. And then I love that they come in at the bottom. I hate it when they just sit. It just, it just does nothing, does it? It's got a zip to get in and out of the back. And then it's just like a short midi dress. 
So this is only £15.20, which I think is super affordable and super reasonable. And this is also very versatile in the sense you could wear it with a pair of heels for like a date night or a girls night, or you could pop a pair of flats um, sandals on and wear it in the day to day, like shopping with the girls or something like that. You know, it's very, it can be day to night, You're easy to just transition from day to night in. Um, talking about shoes, should we, should we have a bit of shoes? I think we'll have a bit of shoes. So these, I really like. If you are wide fit though, like me, do not buy them because they are not really supporting the wide fit feet. They were fine for me to just pop on for the try on, but they are not wide fit. I definitely, yeah, just bear that in mind. Size eight, I always go up a size if they don't do wide fit, like I've mentioned before. Um, and again, I think they're gonna be super versatile. They are 14 pound. And if they fit me, I would have kept them because I did really like them. And the heel height is just quite ideal for me. It's not too high. Um, if you're not new here, you'll know I don't do really high heels, just can't do it, and I'm really tall, so I don't really need the height, um, but I'm actually just way more comfortable in a smaller heel, like that's probably my max heel height that I would go. These are a dream, I am in love with these, and wide fit girls, these fit me fine, so that is really good to know, I absolutely think they are just so beautiful, they're really cute, like more like a torpy stone, this is what stone is, this colour, not the bloody cream shoes that I showed you, uh, dress I showed you earlier. I'm sure these are an eight as well, but I can't seem to see an, a size on them. Yes, they are. These are actually 22 pounds, so sorry, not everything is under 20 pounds, but I think these are actually definitely worth 22 pounds. I think they're really nice, and I've seen them sort of, you know, they've been everywhere on Instagram this sort of summer, but I think they'll be a great addition to like autumn, winter wardrobes, because you can just, I mean, they're a classy pair of heels that I don't think are gonna go out of style. I really like them, and, £22, super reasonable. <laughs> the other thing I would say is actually, for me, that's a high heel, and it was a bit high. And because they didn't have a back, they didn't stay on so well. So if you're not good at walking in heels, give these a miss. But if you're okay, if you got it down, you, you'll be fine. And then finally on the shoe front, I've got another pair of um, little white ones, but they're just little sandals, summery sandals, um, and obviously a copy of like the Hermes sandals. Um, these are really reasonable. These are just, oh, I feel like I've said reasonable 600 times. These are only £12, which is super affordable, but again, wide fit gals, sorry, no good for us. I could get them on, but I wouldn't be able to wear them comfortably for a day. Um, yeah, but really cute. I'm sure they come in a few different colours as well, as, as do the other shoes, so definitely worth checking out their shoe selection. Okay, so this is a maxi dress, and obviously on the hanger it's not doing anything, but you can have a look at, at the cutaway, and it is really pretty, it's got some sort of mark on it, I've just noticed so. Um, this is one size, so it's, um, I'd probably say this would fit up to a size 12 to 14, so it, it fit me fine, it depends, um, yeah, I'd probably say max 14 this would fit, um, but obviously on a more slimmer, size 8 to 10 it's going to be quite loose but it will look quite nice i always think satin looks quite nice loose so i don't think i would recommend anyone who's um bigger than that getting this dress because of the one size issue um i like it i do like it and it's got obviously just strappy satin plain midi it's got a nice little slit up the side this is 16 pound so it's again really affordable but it is again only single lined it's double lined just under the bust but the the straps were like the wrong length, so it sat like I think you'll see in the cutaway, just sat like above my boob rather than like under my boob. So I had to keep pulling it down and adjusting it because the straps aren't adjustable, even though they are stretchy. So that's a little bit of a flaw in it for me, but again, I think you'll have guessed by now. I'm a little bit fussy, but I think you've got to be, and I've got to be really honest with you guys, and I want you to have a full explanation before you go and make your purchases with your, you know? So. Yeah, you'll thank me in the long run for being a bit fussy. I don't even know where to start with this dress. It is vile. It's just the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I'm just gonna say that out there right now. I hate it. I felt like a sailor girl in it or something. It's just the most, again, that horrible custard cream color. Um, it's 10 pound. I don't really wanna talk to you guys about it because I just don't like it. But if you like it and it's your thing, this is it. The sleeves hurt my arms. I just didn't like anything to do with it. It's just gross. And that's that. And I'm just not even going to talk about it. I'm sorry. If you like it, you like it. But. Not my thing.
I don't even know what possessed me to buy that. I think it was one of those things I thought maybe that'll be really nice when it arri arrives. It'll either be a major fail or a major win. So it was a major fail. But you know, you've got to try these things. Um, next I've got this really cute little white strappy um, satiny top. This did sit a little bit funny on the bust area, so it did sort of like poof out a little bit. Um, I always think these kind of tops look better with a smaller bust. But again, I think they either look good with a smaller bust or like the, the full end of the opposite scale. So like no bust or huge bust. I think us mid-size gals again, it just didn't really do a lot. Like it just sort of, I don't, on my body shape, don't find it that flattering personally. Um, I do, however, like the top and I think it's really cute. Um, how much is it? This top is £12, so yeah, middle of the road. I think it's worth £12, but it is very cheaply made if you look at the inside um, of the material and things like that. But, you know, from the outside looking in, you're not going to know that. So it's just, like I said, if you want to buy quality things over fine, cheap fashion, it's your call, but, you know, save the planet and all that. Okay. Next we have a bardo top um, with these cute little, I actually like the way the front does up. I thought it was kind of cute. So these just clip in and then it's got a little bow. Obviously it's white so it's my thing. It's just, it's just me isn't it? With a nice pair of high waisted jeans. Really cute. Obviously I've paired it in the cutaway with some of the jeans, uh, the trousers from the haul. But yeah, I would absolutely wear this with jeans, or like high waisted jeans, not what I did pair it with, but I kind of just wanted to keep everything Miss Pap as much as I could um, for you guys. This uh, is a size 12 and the fit was really nice. I did find it really weird to get on because the sleeves, if you can see, are like separate to the, the body of the top, um, which was weird. And this is 12 pound, um, yeah. You can see at the back as well, this is actually very, very see-through, so just bear that in mind if you're someone who wants to wear a bra. Unless you wear a nude bra, you're probably going to see it through, even if you wore a white one. So, you know, if you haven't got a nude bra and you don't want to buy one, don't buy the tap. So, another one I'm not a fan of, if I'm honest. I don't like the colour of the material. It's that creamy colour again, just not... In case you can't tell, I'm all about the white life, not about the cream life. I just don't like cream. I just... I like beige, but cream, like custard cream, no, don't like it. Um, and this is very similar to this polka dot dress that I shared with you, so it's got the um, bows on. This one was a little bit big, I got this one in a 14, um, but it's exactly the same as polka dot dress, and it's just got the little ruffles details at the bottom, but it looks nice on this one, but on the hanger it looks absolutely grotesque and really old fashioned. Um, so yeah, get your true size of this one, but I just don't like it. I just sorry, I just don't like it. I'll show you the material close up so you can see. It honestly does look better on, but I think just looking at it now, I'm like, this ain't for me. And the last dress was £16.80. Okay, so this is a body, and this is £8.80, so extremely affordable, but it's extremely see-through. I can see you all. <laughs> Uh, so I put on a stick-on bra with this one, um, which solved that problem, and it solved the problem with being a halter neck as well. Um, I actually really like this, and I don't know if it's meant to crisscross. I think it's maybe just meant to be a halter neck, but I crisscrossed it, and I kind of liked it like that. Um, yeah, the fit was great on the length of the body, and it's a thong body, which I much prefer because I hate pant lines in bodies. Um, it's a size 12, and the fit was lovely. Again, going to super versatile for like maybe date night with the girls. Um, date night with the girls, drinks with the girls, or date night, or something like that, with a nice high waisted pair of jeans. Um, again, you can wear a nice casual blazer over it, like a nice neutral toned one. Stone, not custard cream. This is going to be called the custard cream video, honestly. Okay, so I've got another pair of tailored trousers to share with you. These are a really cute colour. This is my favourite colour. I love pink so much. Maybe not this actual tone of pink, but like this light pink is my favourite sort of colour. Um, these fit really nice. They were a little bit snug on my calves. But I do have slightly bigger calves than my boyfriend, so <laughs> he's always got a calf envy because he wants big calves. Funny, isn't it? How men want to be bigger and women always want to be smaller. But you just got to embrace what you've got. You've got what you've got, so embrace it. I love my calves. If I could kiss them, I would, but I'm not that flexible. Um, so yeah, these are really just cute pair of tailored trousers. They're cropped, they've got a really cute little bit here. They're quite thin material. I mean, I don't know how well they'd last, um, but gonna be really nice. Just say you want to like a night out, 
or a date night or something like that if you just want them for like a few occasions you weren't going to wear them really often um that they'd be fine the 16 pound which again i just think anything under 20 pound for a piece of clothing is ridiculously affordable uh and yeah i have to actually talk to you guys about this dress that i'm wearing i haven't talked about this yet which is obviously the same as the blue one that i shared with you earlier but i obviously prefer this one personally let me know what you guys prefer down below in the comment section uh yeah i like this one i think it's really classy really lazy like it's really pretty and like i said earlier it's bit of sexy and a bit of cutesy which is my kind of thing i mean i think you probably could wear it off the shoulder like this um because it has got like a sort of a sticky bit on the straps which is nice which just keeps them up um yeah i do really like this i think this is a, this is a little bit of a steal i think it's 16 pounds so i think this would this would be a keep of, 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 of the whole haul i probably would only keep this and maybe the yellow dress that i shared with you at the start <laughs> Um, and then finally I've got this cute little dress which I got because it reminded me of one that I had from my Zara haul which I loved um, and it's actually over on my Instagram and you guys loved it over there too and um, so this was a size 12 but this was snug like snug I would go up size if you can on this one and um, because it was so snug because the under layer which is good it's got two layers um was popping out the bottom because it was so tight i couldn't it's just got no room in it but it's a really cute little pattern it's got like a ditzy floral print it's got like a nice ruchy bit around the bust and the nice little cute frilly puffy sleeves sorry puffy not frilly and then they they come in on the arms as well so this is just really cute it's quite sexy and gaily again so it's like best of both worlds you guys know that is my favorite thing and that is a 14 pound 40 so that is all of the pieces of today's Miss Pat haul. What do you guys think? Have you shopped in Miss Pat before? Um, what was your favourite item? Let me know in the comments section down below. And if you've never said hello, or if you're a new subscriber, I would love to just chat to you and say hi. So like I said, if you're not following me over on Instagram, come and see me over there. I'm at with love Katie and two underscores. And make sure if you are new here, then you hit that subscribe for some good vibes. If you enjoyed today's video, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. I upload videos Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. So see you in the next one. Bye.